So, I uh, hear from up there somewhere. We do have a light. Just stand on the water here to get up there. Okay, so here's your code status light. We have red continuous light here and we have the door switch bypassed. This is a Bryant. And this seems a little stiff, but it's what it is very likely to be is that flame sensor right there. We're going to clean that. Then we're going to jump the red and the white and see what happens. Okay, uh, just by looking at it, we can see that this is a, that's a thermal cutoff fuse. Let's see. What does it do? Um, we reset it. So that fuse is not blown. The flame sensor is not dirty. Um, so I don't know if you can see it. That flame sensor, that tip of that thing sticking up to the left. Um, it's not very dirty. And the glow bar itself does not look cracked. And so we're just gonna turn it on and see what it does. See, here's some info on this thing. We see that the uh, vacuum tube is hooked on. It's in place. And here's a little disclaimer. Okay, so you can hear this valve. It's humming. It's rattling. It sort of rattled when I first turned it on. Oh, that thing. Oh, it's, it's not the valve, it's this motor. Okay, so this motor, this motor shot, basically, you can see. We might be able to revive. Okay, there it is, it's out of there. We don't have any DB up in there or anything. See, the white wire was on the bottom connection. Um, that's how it went in, flat part on top. And this thing is pretty much shot. It's just really, it's really dragging. I can't bring it back to life with my uh, lube here. I don't think. And that thing is really hot to touch. You can tell it was just like working overtime trying to make it happen. I'm surprised it didn't blow out that thermal fuse. Usually there's a thermal fuse inside here that blows out. Uh, I'm going to give it one more try and see if I can uh, bring it back to life and then uh, otherwise we'll have to get a new one.